I mean, after the death of our child, you know, ban it. Move to ban alcohol at the Kaneohe Sandbar draws support from the parents of the man whose death triggered the emergency rules. The parents of 26-year-old Noden Makatoras are facing the holiday season without their youngest son. Now, they had a difficult time dealing with their grief, but they wanted to share their thoughts about the state's efforts to make the temporary alcohol ban permanent. They sat down with KITV force Catherine Cruz for an exclusive interview. Anyone driving along Huimanu Road has probably seen this sign draped across this home. It's where Noden Makatorez grew up and where his family has lived for 30 years. Inside the front room, his ashes, along with pictures of his two daughters. I don't want any other parents, parents, mommy and daddies to go through what we went through. We miss him so much. Torres says on her way to work, she passes by the pier where her son fell and hit his head after a fight Memorial Day. Her family was waiting for Maka to get home for dinner that night. They instead spent it at the hospital where he ended up in a coma. With emotions still raw during this holiday season, it was hard for them to see the news stories about the ban and the mention of alcohol and cocaine in their son's system. I was sensitive. I was angry. But the Torreses felt they could finally share some of their feelings about what's happened. They're angry that budget constraints didn't allow for DL and our staff to be on duty that afternoon. They had supported calls for tougher enforcement years ago. And after prosecutors decided they didn't have enough evidence to bring charges in the case, they again struggled with their emotions. They hope those who oppose the van will feel their loss and consider safety for all as the priority. They are pained by the memories of that last week in the hospital with their son. He didn't get up to say goodbye. I'm sorry, Dad, next time, you know, and this and that. I love you guys. None. And we all waited. You know, we all waited. The family is taking some comfort that thanks to the donation of his organs, three Hawaii residents are able to spend more time with their loved ones. And they said that the three people, they're doing good, you know, which is, you know, real good. At least, you know, when Maka's out there, you know. And their family, you know, can enjoy them. And this holiday season, they hope to stay close to Maka's children, the youngest who was just two months at the time of his death. And now the state land board voted on Friday to begin the process to make the alcohol ban permanent. That includes more public hearings. Back to you.